popping. It's Tay popping. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. As you can see, better actor. I'm back with another video. I'm going to tell y'all, not even tell y'all. We about to watch. We about to show. I'm about to show you. Feel me? Put on the show. And you already know, let's go. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm about to do a reaction video. Y'all seen by the title, True Story, Scary Horror. Dun, dun, dun. Reaction video. Reaction video. Reaction video. Reaction video. I said reaction video. Reaction video. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it, let's go. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know down below in the comment section if you want some more scary reaction videos or some more reaction videos. Let me know. Make sure you grab your popcorn because y'all is going to be hungry. My popcorn gang, grab your popcorn, babies. Grab the popcorn. I'll wait. You got your popcorn? Okay, let's get this video on the road. You feels me? You feels me. Let's go. All right, we're going to start this thing. We're going to start this thing up. Get the cameras rolling. We're on the floor with it because we already, it's giving me vibes. The floor is giving me vibes right now. We're on the floor with it. Why is this video not clicking? What up, guys? Technical difficulties in the system. So, guys, let me know down below in the comment section how y'all day been going. How's y'all day? What's y'all day consist of? Should I put the hoodie on because y'all think I'm about to be scary? Or should I not put the hoodie on? Should I put the keep the hoodie off? I think I'm going to keep it on. I don't know. It's catching me a vibe right now. We're going to let's click. True horror stories, dun dun dun, my stalker. A few years back, I was a shift manager for a local big box pharmacy and convenience store. Okay. It was right across my backyard, and I could probably sprint there in under a minute if I really wanted to. Who gonna so work on that? For me. I was in my late 30s. I worked out quite a lot, and while I was fit, okay, I was still fit, a smaller sis. girl. Even though stay I was fit, married, sis. I would constantly get hit on and asked out. It was pretty flattering, but it always made me feel really awkward. Now, this particular store I worked at was in a really weird part of town. It was on the right Girl, side of town to a Girl, I could have sworn you just said it was across the street from your house. The drug addicts, drunks, and psychopaths. Yeah, yeah. who working there? Anyway, who? Let me say that I'm not someone that not gets scared easily. I've had someone high on meth crash their car into the side of the store, causing the back of our store to bend inward because we didn't carry pineapple juice. I had a man pick me up and throw me over his shoulder and start walking out the door with me, saying that I'd make a good wife. Yeah, that's one for another time. Anyways, it all started on a Sunday morning. Girl, I remember this because I was why are you still working there at the end of the day? Cell signs. I was working with my favorite co-worker, so the day was like that. by and Period. I was really bubbly this day. There was a man and his son that came into the store and they made a beeline for me. The man was probably just a little under six foot, and he was skinny. The man had dreadlocks and a long, skinny silver earring dangling from. It's because he's black. It's like no, let me stop. This really tan <laughs> coat let me stop. I found really odd because it was summer. But nonetheless, summer. You know, I had then greeted them and asked if they needed some help. The man spoke with a really thick Jamaican accent. I like Jamaican accent, yo, wag one. Love I met Jamaicans out there, period. If you, if you are Jamaican, drop the flags down below. That would be at Best Buy or something. Drop it down below. I have a small section of electronics on this wall over here. I indicated the wall. Follow me on Instagram at Popin. period. Let me put that out there. And make sure y'all click this and subscribe to their channel. It's going to be in a link down below. Link in the description down below. He was speaking a different language to his son. I'm cool. Don't play me. And he would call me to help him. Asking me Why are you touching her? SD cards. I answered them and then he started telling me how beautiful I was. Corona, you are the really in that face. I had thanked him. You must work out, yeah? 
he asked. Um, nah. Yeah, yoga mostly. Nah, sis. I you gotta go. He gotta get out now. the stove. No cap. Get he out the stove. Time to go. Creep. More like a bit of fuck. He ain't got no eyes. I started to avoid him, but he was still staring at me. Oh, no. The man had his phone out, and I kept hearing the shuddering of a camera. I went to the office to tell my other co-worker that I thought the guy was taking my picture, and I was just really feeling oh, uncomfortable. No. Oh, no. You got he me messed came up. Out and watched over me. Shortly after my co-worker came out, the man and his son then left. By the time the end of my shift came, I forgot about him. Yeah, I would not forget about that man. I was up front ringing customers with a different coworker. We were crazy busy that day. I want to know how to do the, these day. animations, though. After we got the line down, my coworker then handed me an envelope. Uh, what's this? I asked her. I don't know. Some man in dreadlocks told me to give it to you. She said. I took the envelope and I went into my office with it. Inside the envelope were dozens and dozens of pictures of me. My heart sank. I had no idea that these were taken. Most no. of them were of me in the store while working. Some of me walking home. And some even with me and my daughter. I felt sick. And it was also Sis, a you gotta... You it's gotta go. Lines up. You're so beautiful. I'm in love with you. I'd be a much better husband than what you have now. Please give me a chance. You're not giving you a chance like that. Oh, no. I really stupidly left his name and address. I then called our store manager as well as the police. Oh, no. They took our camera footage, my statement, and the pictures and letter. Oh, no. They told him that he really needed to stay away from me or the next time he's getting arrested and he's banned from the store. That ain't gonna stop somebody. But still really bothered by it. Exactly. A few more weeks to about a month then went by. It was another really busy Sunday night. It was just myself as the manager on duty, and we had another co-worker as my cashier. We were ringing things up together when I noticed a man staring at me. The man was tall with a medium build. He had dreadlocks, and he had the same earring and long trench coat as the other man did. It's the same this man! man. Really His eyes were just cold and really dead and angry. It felt like they were staring right through my soul. He didn't have anything to purchase. Girl, why don't you stay. quit? I tried to smile politely at him. Then another wave of customers came. I got lost in helping everyone, but didn't see the man anymore. Even when things calmed down, I still didn't see him. I decided to go start facing the back of the store, and I told my coworker to call me if she needed me. As I was back there, I heard that Jamaican accent and all over. I looked up at the mirror to see that same scary man on the phone. Yeah, she's here. No, it's just one other girl here with her. I can grab her when she leaves. No problem. I was absolutely horrified. Girl, you he better go punch that man in the face. I made my way up to the front. I briefly tell my coworker what's going on and then call the police and store manager. The cops took him away. A few days later, a detective came to speak to me. The two men were brothers. I were brothers. They were abducting women and we're happy and we human can. trafficking. He told me I was really lucky. I later found out that they had apparently found a woman beaten to death in their apartment. They have both since gone to prison. That is scary. This still gives bro. me really bad nightmares. What happened to that woman could have easily been me. But thank God it wasn't. Yeah, thank God. Wow. Guys, please be safe out here. Like, no cap. This is not, this is not even, this not even, this wasn't even a scary for us. Scary like I was hoping. But it's still scary because people really be out here snatching people. So, please be safe out here, guys. Always got it on you. Because if they run up, they can, hold up. You can run up if you want, because you got it on you, you feel me? But, like, just be safe. Please always check out for your surroundings, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all want to see some more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below.
<laughs> you feel me? Did you get scared? I'm gonna give this like a little, little five, little five, six. You feel me? Because I like. It's not even that. Like this don't. It wasn't even scared. It's like a true dang story. Like people, it's really out here. So please be safe, guys. And always got it on you. You feel me? Got it on you. Cause you never know. And also, guys. Did you like my new intro that I put in the beginning of this video? Make sure also give a big fag like if you like the intro because I know that John is a banger, you feel me? So, yeah, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this intro. That intro. And yeah. And that's it for today's video. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you can be notified when I post another video like this. And if y'all enjoyed this one, just spam the like button. Tell your friend, tell your cousin, tell your, your brother, you la 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 la. Ah. Alright, and I'm Tay Poppin', and I'm out. Ah, you thought I was gonna. Wait, I'm, I'm Tay Poppin', and I'm out. Peace.